everybody I have a bonus little video for you today after I finished the watercolor succulent video I wanted to put those to use on some cards and I came up with this fun succulent garden slider note card idea and I thought it would be fun to just share with you how to assemble those and create those it's just a really fun little project you can uh, slip this little note in there and works great with our sentiment suite stamp sets because you can hide a little sentiment inside of there and slide that little garden over the top I'm also sneak peeking a few dies that we are going to be releasing in a, a little add-on release later this week. We are, have some new basic standalone dies and they will be released along with um, the items that are being restocked later this week. So keep an eye out for that and I'm sneak peeking them in this video, a few of them. So let's get started. I have all of my pieces ready to go. Um, die cut already for assembling these little notes and I have used a basic stitched oval die that I just had in my collection of dies and this is not a greedery die but you probably have some way in your stash of cutting an oval die and so I have two cut from plain white cardstock and then I have another third one cut from watercolor paper and I have the top trimmed off of the watercolor paper one and that's what we're going to be using to create our bowl for our garden and I also have a small strip cut and that is going to be the base for our uh, bowl and so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some color to our bowl just using a wet on wet watercolor technique and so I'll go ahead and wet my paper and add some color I'm using Payne's gray to kind of, I want to give it kind of a stone or cement kind of look. And so I pulled out my Payne's Gray. Oh, that's really dark. We'll lighten that up a little bit. So I pulled out Payne's Gray, which is one of my favorite kind of cool bluish neutral colors. And then I might also uh, kind of drop in a little bit of the Moon Glow, which is a color that we used. Uh, to dye or to watercolor our succulent in the last video and so I have a little bit of that on my palette here yet and I'm kind of drop a little bit of that in there those two colors look really pretty together all right so I'm just going to add some color kind of along that one edge there to uh, just kind of give it some shading and I'm going to go and hit these with my heat gun and dry them up and then we can get on with assembling everything all right so those pieces are dry and before we assemble i'm going to add a little more interest uh, to that watercoloring by adding a few little splatters I'll just take a wet brush with some of the paint gray and just add a few splatters always makes everything a little more fun all right, so then we can go ahead and assemble. I'm going to trim down this strip. That's going to be the base of our bowl. I'm just going to guess and I'm going to go, I'm going to make it about like that. It's probably an inch and a half or so. And we'll go ahead and attach that to the bottom edge of the bowl. Okay, and then we're going to add our succulents. I have a large and a small. And I also have this little die, which is another new uh, part of a new die collection that we are going to be releasing as part of a little mini release this week. And so these are kind of fun. This almost looks like a little um, string of pearls, um, the little succulents that hang down. We're gonna add that under that large one. And then I have a small one that I'll add over here. And then I'm going to back this piece with um, just a, one of my plain white cardstock ovals that I have here. I'll 
line that up with this one it just gives a nice nicer finished uh, look to the entire project and so I will just add that and then I'm going to add my second oval my second die cut white oval and I'm going to attach it just at the very edges of that oval so I'm going to put adhesive there and there and then just attach it wrong side I want my right side of the die showing because this is the back side of the little slider card and then we have our insert I have die cut this from watercolor paper as well just because I wanted it to match uh, the way the coloring and so of the bowl and so that I die cut from watercolor paper and I'm going to be stamping it with a couple of sentiments from um, this time I'm using for this first one that I showed you I used a couple sentiments from our sentiment suite thinking of you set and this one I'm going to turn into a birthday card and use the sentiment suite birthday stamp set and I'll stamp the it's your birthday up at the top there so that will show and then I'll make my little hidden message here towards the bottom using one of the longer sentiments from the set that's intended to go inside of a card and so we'll stamp that there and then that gets just tucked inside of there and so you can slide that card in between the two oval die cuts and there you have these cute little slider succulent garden note cards. It's super fun to put together and a great way to use those die cut succulents that we colored in the last video. So thanks everybody for watching and for joining me here on the Greetery YouTube channel. We'll see you back here soon.